Hello. Yan. Hello, everyone. So, right now, we're actually in docus. Okay. So, this is the another... Um, yeah, another season, season two, episode three of Docu. So, um, I also I welcome all the doctors who are watching right now, and those of you who are coming in later, welcome. Or those of you na mapapanood na lang yung recording na to. So, actually, Docu's is um, one of the aim of my finance MD. This the aim of this program is to serve our health professionals, especially our dear doctors who have been serving our country wholeheartedly and very tirelessly. The advocacy of DocUs is to be able to address all the needs of our doctors um, in all aspects of their lives. So right now, we have a very important guest. Okay. Kasi right now, di ba, nakita nyo ang ating um, our um talk will be about how to get more than 10 teleconsults per day using social media and how to automate it. Kasi diba, during this time of pandemic, alam nyo naman yung nangyayari ngayon. Um, sobrang, sobrang hirap, lalo na for doctors who are really, um, um, really on this, um, uh, health problem right now sa COVID. So, kaya ngayon, um, we invited a spe very special guest. Kanya, sabi ko nga, very special guest natin ngayon is actually, um, he is the first Filipino and Asian to be the ambassador for ManyChat, the leading platform for chatbots. These are yung mga nag-automate, okay, ng messengers. So, he, he is one of, of the two time speakers that that the conversation conference held in US alongside with Ryan Dice, Damon Johnson, Billy Jean, and Neil Patel. Those are top marketers in the US. He has taught over 2,000 students about the power of messenger marketing with his counterintuitive approach toward chatbots. So, ang goal ng Ng episode right now is to help our doctors to see the power of messenger marketing and how to help them grow their practice. So let's all welcome Mr. Neil Reichel. Yay, Neil. Yeah, and welcome, Neil. Good evening, good evening. Maraming salamat po. Thank you for yes. that intro. As in, sobrang thank you talaga. And yes, thank you po. And uh, good evening also to all the doctors who are watching po itong Facebook Live. It's an honor and uh, I hope I get to deliver. And yun nga, mga nanonood po is they could see the possibilities then and the opportunities that are, that are out there na even with the pandemic, pwede palang lumaki lalo yung practice. Oo nga. Eh. So very excited na kami dyan, Neil. I want you to, but before that, gusto ko, we would like to know more about you. Tell us something about yourself. Besides yun mga sinabi ko kanina, and can you tell us exactly what you really do? And ano ba tong messenger marketing or chatbots? Okay? Okay. Yan. Uh, request ko lang po, please type po C in the comments kung clear po na naririnig po kami ni Dr. Pinky. Okay, so... Ang ginagawa ko po is what I help is mga doctors and other businesses po na for them to get more patients, to get more clients, to get more customers walking into their establishments. Kasi itong mga businesses na to, these are trusted by the people. Pero ang nagiging challenge lang is that they're not really seen on social media or online. So ang yeah. nangyayari is na merong mga ibang businesses that are not doing that good pero ang hataw-hataw nung business nila. Ang, sak -masak ang malungkot lang dito, ang masaklap lang is that hindi sila nakakuha ng mga repeat clients, repeat customers, or even repeat patients. So ang ginagawa ko po is itong mga uh, doctors that, yung mga reputable talagang doctors, whether they have just finished lang yung residency nila or medyo matagal na sila mga fellows sa po sila, tipong ganun. Pero they want to see the opportunity po of online marketing. Yan. Tinutulungan ko po sila and I want them to get their presence seen out there. Uh, bigyan ko lang po examples. There are a handful of doctors from PGH. Mga matagal na po silang consultants. 
ang malungkot dito was that when I saw them uh, and their practice recently with the pandemic, talagang bumagsak yung practice nila. And I hope na hindi man maka-offend itong sasabihin ko ito, is that doctors still need to make a living. Diba? Yeah. Hindi naman po sila nag-doktor para umaman, pero in order for them to still help their patients with the best amount of quality, they still need to have patients walking into their clinics. So yun yung ginagawa ko po. I help reputable doctors, as in really good doctors, get their presence out there para po mas maraming matulungan na patients. Especially now with the pandemic, na people aren't going out and maraming makukulit din na like seniors na ayaw magpa-consult. Diba? Let's make it easier for them to get consultation. Yun yeah. Po. Yeah, correct yan, Neil. Kasi um, ang danger right now is danger sa patient tsaka sa doctor din. And do, mer- marami, marami namang consultation na actually kaya naman talaga using um, online, ba? Diba? So why not um, leverage on that, ba? Diba? So yeah. question, yun nga, what is... Um, can you tell us in basically, ano ba ang chatbot? Ano ba yung messenger marketing? Ano ba siya? Yeah. Thank you. Sige, later po doon sa slides papakita ko. Pero messenger marketing, right now, uh, lahat tayo, may chat, may GC, may kung, lahat na ng klaseng chats meron tayo. And we've seen uh, uh, Facebook launch a new option sa app nila which is called Marketplace. So ngayon, Facebook has seen uh, nung 2019 and 2020 that people are conversing and making transactions using Facebook Messenger. Mm. Ang problema lang po is that sa dami ngayon ng nakakausap natin, napupudpud na yung daliri natin. Every time natutunog na yung phone, ding, ding, ding. Ang dami mong kachat, hindi mo na alam. Uh, parang dahil nga sa sobra dami na nating kachat, parang narealize nga ni Facebook bigla, ay gawa ko ng unsend option kasi ang daming narorong send na kung sa dami ng kachat. Ay, oo, correct. Diba? <laughs> so, ang, ginagawa ng, <laughs> ang ginagawa ng chatbots is that they help you filter the conversations. And kung kaya naman sagutin ng isang basic na FAQ na walang interaction ng tao, yun ang responsibility, yun ang role po ng chatbot. Kesyo pa alas dos ng umaga yun magtanong kung magkano ang consultation, kung anong oras ang clinic Uh, schedules mo, si chatbot na ang sasagot, hindi na yes. po ikaw. Or yung secretary mo, kasi marami na siyang ginagawa. Yes, ito. Kasi technically, ang ginawa mo lang sa chatbot, nag-create ka ng someone that will answer automatically for you. Lalo na pag natutulog ka or may ginagawa ka or busy yung secretary mo. Parang kang nag- nag-leverage another person, di ba? Yes. Na there's it's um that 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 chatbot is present 24/7. Yes. Unlike people, 'di ba? Tsaka medyo mas mahal ang tao pag pinasalan. <laughs> hindi lang 'yun, Doktora Bingi. Ito hindi susumpungin. Hindi. Oh, oh, di ba? Walang hindi magsisiklib. <laughs> Dire-diretso lang trabaho niya. At tsaka may integrity kasi. <laughs> may may integrity. Oh, diba? okay, pero ibang topic na 'yan, 'di ba? Ano topic na 'yan? Secret na 'yan. <laughs> So anyway, basically, ang chatbot, guys, I just want to share my experience kasi since I have my green book, remember, I have green book. Ito to, di ba? Yeah. So for those of you who have this book already, so thank you sa mga nagpunta sa chat, uh, My Finance MD Messenger. May magtatanong sa, edyo, uh, sa inyo doon, do you want to purchase green book? Yan, that's my chatbot. Hindi na ako yun kasi nakakapagod ba naman kung ikaw yung sasagot ng ng yon every day so si Neil yung nag-set up sa akin um years ago na already and um actually makikita na lang namin at the end of the of the chatbot nakapay na yung client si send na lang yung book ba diba? so exactly. ganun din exactly pag sa patients naman um usually ang question diyan is doc what's your um schedule ba diba? Yun, pwede mo nang i-ano yun sa chatbot. Chatbot will already answer ito po yung schedule nito. Ano po yung, may mga ganun. Consultation diba, right? rates nyo po. O, oh, consultation ganun. rate kung gusto nyo ilagay doon kasi iba ayaw. Pero at least hindi kayo personally, you can actually name your chatbot. Hi, this is, this is Mina. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, pwede. Yes. The secretary of Dr. Ramos. I would like to ganyan, di ba? You can set up apps very, very professional. Actually, minsan di mo alam chatbot yung kakilala mo. 
Mm-hmm. Ay, ang kausap mo. Ang kausap mo. Ah, tama. Actually, okay. dun sa pag-purchase ng libro, kinakausap nila minsan yung chatbot. Ano ba yung ganito? Talaga hindi mo kasi ma-feel eh, na hindi pala uh, real person yung kausap mo. It's a chatbot pala. Yes. So, yan. Okay. Next question ko, Neil, is when did you start ba building chatbot at bakit ikaw ang first and only Asian ambassador of chatbot, uh, many chat, tama ba? Ayan. Uh, 2017 po siya, doktora. Sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, which is malamang lahat naman ng nanonood na to, dati po akong ahente. Dati po akong medrep from GSK. Uh, anong year ba ako GSK? 2004 hanggang, uh, 2006 hanggang 2010. Tapos nag-Johnson and Johnson. So med- medyo, sasabihin ko naman, na medyo may experience naman ako uh, with the medical world, uh, with the doctors. Tapos, uh, ang nangyari po noon, from there, sabi ko, gusto ko mag-start ng sarili ko. And isang opportunity to that started well, with digital marketing was nung 2017, inintroduce ng Facebook na, okay, chatbots are going to be uh, integrated with Facebook. And then yeah. Facebook launched Facebook Messenger, ginawang separate entity na si Messenger app. E, tapos kasabay na halos nun sa, ah, magkakasunod na sila with Instagram, ganun. So ang ginawa po namin doon, ang ginawa ko is I saw the opportunity that this is something that people are not yet doing but has a big opportunity. Kasi nga, ang lakas natin sa Philippines, I mean, text capital nga tayo, yeah. naging chat capital pa nga tayo ngayon. So sabi ko, oh, this is a new opportunity na malaking at maraming mga businesses, maraming mga tao ang matutulungan from this. And siguro from there, sabi lang ni Manny Chat, okay, ang dami mong naturo ang estudyante, uh, ikaw ang gawin namin ambassador, tapos they chose me twice to speak nga po dun sa event nila sa US. Wow, wow. Congratulations, Neil. Thank you so, po. Actually, very fortunate na binigyan niya time and time today. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Yung mga speaking engagement lang, yung SA lang naman. So anyway, so ngayon, so actually Neil, I'd like to ask you, ano ba yung, um, ano ba yung, what are, how how do you think that this would um, actually before, bef- I just want you to latag, ano ilatag mo, paano ba natin um, magagamit yung chatbot to our, to our, to our doctors, to our, kung paano nila may incorporate sa practice nila yung chatbot talaga in a okay. bigger scale. Uh, dalawang scenario lagay natin. Halimbawa po, this is a doctor na bagong graduate lang po, kakatapos niya lang po ng residency, tapos nagbibuild siya ng practice niya doon sa area niya. Mm-hmm. Saktong-sakto naman nag-pandemic. Di ba? Saktong-sakto, pagkakuha niya ng slot niya, let's say sa Asian, kung saan mang hospital, nakakuha na siya ng schedule, nakapag-ikot na siya sa mga fellow consultants, nakapagpakilala na siya, biglang nagka-pandemic. No physical visits. So, paano makakatulong ang chatbots? Sa workshop po na to, papakita natin na people right now are on social media. As in, all day, every day, social media. And there are just two uh, platforms that I would like you to focus on, which is Facebook and Instagram. Yun po, yung dalawang platforms na yun. Uh, and ang magagawa ng mga chatbots ito is that if you have a post or a Facebook ad that you put out there, and then that Facebook ad will be presented to your ideal clients. Let's say your bago kang graduate na pediatrician, di ba po? Uh, and ang area of uh, uh, practice mo is the Las Piñas area. Normally, we would think na, Okay, itong mga Las Piñas, gagawa ko ng ad for specific for Las Piñas. But this time around, hindi ka na confined to Las Piñas. You are now allowed to see all types of children, ideally Filipino children, from all over the world. Yeah. Di ba po? Even patients, even uh, parents with kids from the US who would want to have their children seen by a Filipino pediatrician, posible na po siya. All you have to do is just put your Facebook ad up after your Facebook ad which is connected to a chatbot that has a couple of questions na tinatanong and then maka, magkakaroon ka na ngayon ng mga teleconsult patients. Ang kagandahan po nito ngayon is that only a very few people are doing it right now. Only a very few people are only a very few doctors are doing it right now. Kasi when the pandemic happened, totally biglang nag-shift. As in, ngayon, pantay-pantay lahat tayo. Ang practice natin, ito lang. So ngayon, if you, if 
parang ginawa ko lang po nung 2017 na bagong-bago ang chatbots. Ganon din yung nakikita nyo mga yun bilang doctors na an opportunity to get online, mauuna ka po, it's a totally blue ocean out there. You can see more patients and you can build your practice faster. That's for the new, ano lang po, uh, yung mga bago pa lang mga doctors na nag-uumpisa ng practice. What about those ang mga mga senior? Uh, yung mga uh, senior consultants natin, let's say 50 years old na sila, 20 years na yung practice nila, hindi po pong ganun, uh, 50 up na sila. And they also have children that are already starting to become doctors. Nag-aaral din sila maging mag doctor. Ang pwede pong gawin is that itong database mo currently of your patients that you still get to see right now, we want to build a digital asset out of it. Uh, ask for their email addresses, ask for their email uh, contact numbers para later on when you pass on your practice to your children, yung mga anak mo hindi po mag-uumpisa from scratch. Yeah. Meron na po silang clinic na pakilala mo na sila via email, na pakilala mo sila via SMS, na pakilala mo sila via Facebook ads na ito na yung anak ko, ito na yung mga anak ko, sila mag-handle, mag-take over ng practice ko. So yun, dalawang scenarios pa lang po yun kung saan makakatulong ito. Yeah, totoo yan. Kasi um, for new doctors out there, para pas biglang pandemic, di ba? <laughs> Mahirap na nga ang normal setting mag-start as a doctor or in practice. Tapos biglang pandemic, mas lalong triple hirap, di ba? So, for doc those doctors naman na senior already, maganda nga yun, tama ka, Neil. Kasi, kunwari, you have already built your own brand. Kunwari, your 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 usually yung apelido eh. Eventually, may magmamana na anak mo eventually. You are not, they are not starting from scratch, okay? So, for those of you guys, ha, interrupt ko lang, um, just type in your questions kasi like, we are li right, live right now. So, um, um, ano, sayang din kung if you miss any, if you will miss anything. So, you just ask questions, okay? Yes. So, please. okay. So, next question ko, Neil. Kasi, di ba, you're telling me to, kunwari, ang bagong doctor, magbe-build siya ng page, tama? And yes, then, magkikreate ng ad that this is what I do, and then papasok siya dun sa messenger bot, yon and then eventually, magkakaroon ka ng patients, right? Yes, so, ma'am. ang question ko, what if naman for those people, uh, kasi before ang ginagawa, ang old practice sa social media is you, you build a website, ba? Pero, why not build a website first? Hindi na ba siya okay ngayon? Mm -hmm. Or, what do you think? Kasi data I started my finance MD through a website and then a page. Okay, so question, why not start a website instead of a FB page muna? Yan, maganda pong question. Uh, so ito, insider lang to, bulong-bulungan lang ito. Bulong-bulungan, right nakalive tayo, di ba? <laughs> For those who are watching this, di ba? And I hope sana you could take up on this. Yan. Uh, we would like to start muna ngayon with a Facebook page kasi it's easier to set up. As in, you can set up your Facebook page in less than an hour. Yun ang kauna-unahan doon. And the next part is that if you want to build your website, you have to buy your domain, you have to buy hosting, which takes more expenses pa up front, longer time para may up versus a Facebook page, which is totally free. Tapos ang Facebook page mo, um, sobrang ano siya, sanay na sanay na po ang mga tao ngayon to go to a Facebook page versus asking people to go to a website, typing in the name of the website. And the second part is that um, since sobrang normal na yung habit na yun, you would want to also to have your presence felt and seen inside Facebook and inside Instagram. Kasi that's where people are now doing their searches, especially Filipinos. Mas madalas sila mag-Facebook search Versus mag-Google search. Talaga? Nag-overtake na ba? Malapit na sa atin sa Pilipinas. It's always, itatype um, niya lagi ngayon. Yun. Kasi pwede na mag-search eh. Dati kasi, punta ka pa sa Google to yes. search. Oo. Okay. So ngayon, ngayon po, sa Facebook na nagsa-search ang mga tao. Pedya in Muntinlupa. Kahit YouTube eh, di ba? Parang hmm. more of Facebook page. Eh. Opo. So, yun. In, pero if you naman are tawag dito, uh, you already have built an established Facebook page, 
now that's the time that you build your website. That's the only time that you build your website. Yun yung recommendations po namin. Yeah, kasi um, website also is parang more credible. Kasi yes. diba if you have a website, wow, parang totoong tao to, totoo siya, parang gano'n. Kasi minsan ang daming gumagawa lang ng page and sometimes yung website builds credibility more. more up. It Pero, definitely yeah. adds credibility. Yes. Tama naman si Neil na you ha- really have to start with page para mas mabilis. And eventually, pag nagka-traction na, then you do, you do your website. Yes. Okay, so... Papakita natin yung mamaya yung sa Facebook page, how to build that credibility faster. Kahit na zero likes ka pa. Ang galing. Kahit zero likes. Oh, guys. Kahit zero likes. Okay. So, for our, I, if I were you, you share this to your friends right now para makahabol sila sa ating discussion kasi very exciting. Okay, so, um, yan. So, Neil, can you tell us about it? Can you, do you have any, um, yun nga, di ba sabi mo kanina, meron na kayong sample na ginawan or nagawan nyo na. Di, can you show us your, kumbaga sa doctor kasi we did case study, ano ba nangyari yeah. na before, ano yung mga itsura before. So, do you have any case study na nagawa nyo na to and ano yung results sa particular doctor na to? Can you share okay. it with us? Uh, as much as I would like to share yung page mismo ni doctor, syempre, confidential yung page. Pero ipapakita ko po mismo sa inyo yung mismong post na ginawa po namin for this doctor. Yan. Please type po in the chat if it's clear po sa inyo nyo. Ta- type okay. lang C. Nice. Yan. Kung makikita nyo po. Wow. Yan. Binanggit po, uh, itong Facebook page na to started off with almost zero likes. Like, zero, likes, five, guys, like, zero likes, guys. Zero likes. Tapos ngayon... Five yun, likes. Five likes. Five likes. Five uh, likes pala. <laughs> kasi kami, nilike na lang muna namin. And then okay, we run an ad. <laughs> Nag-run kami ng ad. Wala siyang mga posts, kundi dalawang posts lang. Kami nagsulat ng post. Mingi lang kami ng pictures po sa kanya. Wow, Tapos, pati pang lang, sulat kayo rin. Kami na gumawa ng pagsulat. Uh, very basic lang naman. Very straightforward. Tapos we run... Ano na, uh, we run the ads for them. Kami na nag-manage ng Facebook ads po nito. Ito yung naging results. 3,400 people reacting dun sa post na yun. 549 comments, 318 shares. Uh, now, there might be some people na sasabihin na, ano ko naman ang likes at saka shares? Hindi ko naman yan may in-cash sa banko. Hindi naman yan nadadagdag sa Gcash. <laughs> yan. Gusto ko lang po ipakita na kasama po doon sa mga comments na yan, ito po, for online live consultations, ito po, payment for consult is 1,000 pesos. Via Gcash or payday, account name, yan. For sked po, after payment, pay po lang sa Gcash. And you notice, one week ago lang ito. Tapos, if I go to the slide again, kanina, yan. So, imagine lang if that was just 200 lang out of lang the 549 comments that we got na naging consult. That's 200,000 pesos po in terms of consultation. Wow, galing. Ayan. For this particular doctor pa lang. And that is, mga nag-comment pa lang. Iba pa po yung mga nag-PM. And mas uh-huh. madalas ang mga patients or yung parents sa mga patients or the patients themselves, especially yung mga mas mataas yung level of education, they don't really comment. They would rather PM you. Di ba po? And um, itong doctor na to has seen more than 500 plus consults when we work with this doctor. Uh, sobrang happy niya na nakita niya yung possibilities niya. Uh, mga patients niya are even from out of the country. Madal- marami 500 sa kanya. patients in one month? In Tama. one month. Na siya mismo talaga wow. sabi niya, ang dami sobra naman ito. Yan na kaya. <laughs> Hindi niya na talaga kinaya. Ay, Pero masayang masaya siya. Masayang masaya. Ay, yeah. eh, kasi kung 1,000 per consult, that's 500,000 per month. At yes. nasa bahay ka lang. Tama ba? At nasa bahay siya. <laughs> Ang naging investment niya was Facebook ads, yung system na ginawa namin. And nung una, messenger lang. Ang ano niya? Ang consults niya. Sabi namin, Doktor, mag ano ka na, mag pro zoom ka na, mag zoom ka na na pro account. And sabi Actually, niya, magkano ba yun? Baka oh mahal. God, messenger lang siya at the start? As in, walang Zoom? Opo, kasi sabi namin sa kanya, let's use the most 
avail uh, uh, let's use yun muna yeah. at the start pinaka lean lang muna yung pinaka basics lang muna kasi yeah. nagpe Facebook ads tayo and sabi niya sige tas later on sinuggest nga namin zoom nga na pro account akala niya mahal sabi ko ano lang po ito parang nasa 2000 pesos lang to a month or di ba kasi we use na yung higher level kasi may cloud na rin siya we yeah. offered yung cloud na nga so yun as in ang saya-saya nung ano doctor po na ito Oh, yeah. Wow. So, ang question ko, uh, from the time na nag-start kayo, kailan siya nakagain ng ganito na? Gano'n Inabot lang na? kami ng 42, 43 days. 43 days? Opo. From Pero the time that we started uh, creating your Facebook page niya and then the images, huwag po naman magtatampo itong client namin ito. Medyo matagal pa siyang magbigay ng pictures kasi... Tapos ginugol pa namin yung iba niyang pictures. Kasi <laughs> tagal na talaga. Kasi busy daw siya eh. <laughs> okay. Eh kami, gusto namin sa kanya, makakuha na siya agad ng results. Yes. Diba? yes. Yun. Alam mo na may mga doktor, minsan talaga super busy. Mga one year bago ka ba? <laughs> Joke lang. Super, ganun. super, super. <laughs> yeah, so may question ba kayo? Sayang, dito si Neil. Live kami ha. Ask nyo na lahat ng pwede nyo itanong. Uh, okay. Dahil hindi kayo nagtatanong, ako magtatanong. <laughs> sige lang po, sige lang po. Ang question ko, para naman Neil, magkano naman yan if ever? How how much does it cost for okay. for a person or a kanyari at bagong doktor lang, wala pa akong budget eh. Neil, uh-huh. paano ko naman siya papagawa sa'yo? Kasi syempre may cost yung Facebook ads and your um your ano, services. Magkano ba yung yes. usually? Ang invest- initial namin is we just ask the doctor for 15,000. Tapos we work on that for at around 45 days. Yun. 15,000, 15,000 kasama na yung 45. ad spend. Sinama na namin Amin yung ad spend. Yes. Ayan. Okay Oo. na. Kasi ang goal talaga namin dito is mabawi agad ng doctor yung investment niya. Kasi yeah. especially during these times, di ba? Ang hirap talaga. Ang hirap gumalaw na wala agad ROI. Ngayon, meron kaming ibang doctors, uh, full disclaimer, na hindi agad sila nag-ROI. Mm-mm. Because of the following things. Number one, uh, nagawa na nung chatbot yung trabaho na ready na for teleconsult. Nakaready na siya, tumatanggap siya ng bayad. Siya hindi po maayos yung schedule ng doktor. Ah, okay. Gusto Busy. namin siyang sabunutan. <laughs> Kasi, doktor, ayan na yung pasyente, oh. Ayan na yung pasyente. Wala sumunod, siyang... <laughs> wala siyang time. Hindi po namin alam kung bakit. Parang, basta. Uh, sumunod na case na hindi siya nag-work was that when the doctor insisted na ito lang ang pwede niyang i-post. I understand with doctors, um, yung ethics of prom- self-promoting mm-hmm. is a very gray area talaga. Ano mm-hmm. siya talaga na uh, some doctors say sobrang bawal and then some doctors naman, it really depends. So ang sabi lang namin sa kanya is, i-share mo lang yung story uh, of one patient that he saw. Kung pwede nga, the patient is talking about you instead of you talking about your practice. But the doctor insisted na hindi, ayoko, and he went with his way. We told the doctor na, doctor, hindi ko po ma-assure na maganda yung results ng ganyan. Kasi napakahalaga sa yan, sa ito natin, itong, itong bagay po na ito that we scroll every day, sa, we scroll every day, di ba? Is that yung, yung pictures yung yung creative kung tinatawag natin ang number one na nagka-catch ng attention natin it's always a picture pero if it's a picture of you alone di ba parang ang hirap makakatch ng attention unless sobrang ganda mong doctor and sobrang pogi mong doctor di ba that's the only time that you can catch attention pero if it was someone else that we were proposing a patient that was talking about him di ba Ibang-iba agad ng kuha. And this was a pediatrician. Uh, we were talking to that doctor na look at it in the eyes of the parents. Yun. Look at it from the eyes of the parents. Doon, siya, doon hindi nag-work kasi hindi nasunod yung suggestions na. Yun. Yun, doon po siya hindi nag-work. So may time din pala na hindi nag-work. Pero Opo may time naman. 
lalo na pag hindi hindi nagagawa yung dapat gawin, right? Tama? Yes, yes. And that's why uh, we priced it at that price point na 15,000 pesos. Para kung hindi nga siya nakinig, abe, hindi naman siya yung parang over the moon na parang ang sakit-sakit naman ng in-invest kong pera sa inyo. Kami naman on our end is, hindi naman po kami umaman agad dahil doon sa 15,000 pesos ninyo. So parang win-win lang. Parang fair risk lang with both parties. Uh, actually, ako ha, in my own perspective, because I'm in this digital era na already years ago, mura yung 15, nakasama na yung ads. Kasi usually, Facebook ads, 15 na agad yun eh. Tama? Opo. Yes, na agad yes, yung budget yes. ko eh. Pero kung kasama pa yung services, kasama yung setup, mura na yun. Sobrang mura na talaga yun. And usually kasi, um, we have to view kasi um, you treat also our practice as a business then. So, yung business, di ba, we, have, we hire secretary, we hire um, people that can help us with our business. Although, syempre, it's not the primary reason to really, um, to really super you mom and to hear, but it's more, it's, it's helping other people through helping to, th- those people, nileverage mo kasi yung ano eh, di ba? Tama ba ako? Nileverage mo yun. Kasi, para hindi na ikaw yung gagawa ng lahat, para kang na secretary lang. So, yes. ang question ko, yung 15,000 naman, monthly ba yun? Or is it forever commitment or one-time commitment lang? Ganyan. Okay. Uh, ano po siya? After po nung first uh, month natin na uh, mag-work together, so the first 45 days, and we see, give you the results, then it's 15,000 ng 15,000 every month after. Ang ano po noon, ang pag goal po noon, pag gusto mo pa, doon kami kikita. So yung una namin na investment of 15,000, yung una yung investment of 15,000, ano lang kami doon? Literal puhunan lang talaga siya. The following months after, kasi ang goal namin is for you to be really happy with the results na Paying 15,000 is a no-brainer for you. Alam nyo na, every time na magpupun- maglalagay ako 15,000, I can see the practice growing. I can see more patients being happy. I can serve yeah. more of my ano, uh, ideal patients. Yun. So, if you want naman to stop at any time, you can literally stop from there. Po. Ayoko na. <laughs> Pag ayaw mo na, Pero ha, no? Yeah, si doctor na sinasabi mo kanina yung 500 consults per month, 15,000 lang linagay niya at ang oh, papalit. Oh. 500,000, di ba? Yun ang bongga. <laughs> Oo, kaya sabi niya, Hoy Neil, wag mo sabihin ko anong pangalan ko at baka ako habulin ng mga ibang three-letter words dyan. Three-letter <laughs> government agency. Sabi ko, opo, tatahimik lang ako. Tatahimik lang ako. Yeah. yeah, correct. So anyway, ano pa bang question natin? Yeah, walang nagko-question sa ating mga audience. Masyado silang tahimik. <laughs> Ayan. Uh, pwede po naman ngayon, ang gawin ko is give them then an experience. So ilalagay po natin sa comments isang link. Ayan. Isang link po nung yes, sa chatbot. Ayan. Type ko po doon. Ayan. People can click on that link para ma-experience nila what it's like going through a chatbot. Ano to? Simple demonstration lang po ito para makita po nila yeah, and tama. experience nila what it's like. Kasi... And- Ang hirap talaga pag hindi mo naintindihan. Oo. Kung ano ba tsura ng... And for those of you na bumili ng, mes- ng green book ko sa messenger, na-experience yun na siya nang hindi yung alam. <laughs> pag may bili kayo ng green book ko, chatbot ko yung kausap niyo doon. So, hindi ako. Malalaman ko na lang oh. pag nakapagbayad na and then we just send the, the book already. So... Itong si green book nga kung tama ang pagkakatanda ko, doktor, sa ginawa natin. We ask the doctor's location. Uh, yeah. We ask for their mailing address. We even ask them preferred day of delivery at saka preferred mode of payment. So, mm-hmm. iba't iba din yung mode of payment niya. Mode so, of ngayon, payment, pwede uh, COD or pwede na. COD. Tapos meron pang LBC pickup kung hindi ako nagkakamang. Oo, LBC meron pickup, pang, uh, COD. Yun. So, itong si Green Book na to, dami niya nang narating, diba? pero with very minimal human interaction po. Yeah. yeah, totoo yan. Kasi nga, sabi nga nila, di ba, you have um, time is precious. Pero kung kunwari, ikaw pa yung sasagot ng lahat ng yan, di ba, sayo yung time. So, totoo, we totoo actually po. delegate it eh. Mas importante ang time kaysa sa money, actually. Si time, eh, ayan. So, ano pang question? Meron, um, 
ano bang experience pa ng ibang doctors mo with um, the chatbot? Um, uh, ang, ah, ang naisip ko lang ha, ano, ano pa ba yung dapat nilang i-ready sa sarili nila? Like yung isang doctor mo na hindi naging successful, ano yung dapat i-ready nila bago sila mag-engage? Like dapat maayos yung schedule nila? Tama ba? Or yes, ano ba maayos yung schedule nila. Ano yung uh, preferred mode of payment nila? GCash, BPI, BDO? Ah, okay. Meron ganun. siyang mga ganun. Oo. Opo. Tapos, sunod is, put a little bit of time for the secretary to learn how to look kung sino na ba yung mga nakapagbayad. Actually, ang titignan niya lang naman isa eh. Kung sino na yung nakapagbayad and reach out to that particular patient na, ay, ako po si secretary ni doctor na ganyan. Confirm na yung ano mo, para at least dun sa part na yun, meron pa rin human element na yung patient, ah, okay, na-confirm na pala na, uy, uh, si secretary ganito, uh, has already confirmed yung pag, ano ko, pag, pag-bayad na siya, ganun. O pag-bayad at saka yung teleconsult ko. Yun. Pero other than that, ang amin lang po kasi talaga is that with chatbots, para siyang wow, para siyang complex, para siyang sobrang galing na we tell the doctors then na setting expectations, we only put super simple questions, really basic questions to ask para po yung mga mag-go-grow, mag-go through dun sa conversation na yun. Hindi rin sila parang, oy kumain ka na ba chatbot? Kasi <laughs> unrealistic ang expectations. So kung ano lang yung kailangan, kagaya dito sa ginawa po namin na to, um, let me ano lang, discuss it briefly lang. Yan. Share ko lang yung ano to, screen okay, go. para makita po nila. Share. Yan. So ito po yung platform. May kita nyo po ito yung flow. So zoom in po lang. Yan. Zoom in po lang. Ang una pong question na tinatanong is, Good evening po. Is this your complete name? So kinoconfirm lang natin kung ito. Pipindutin nyo lang po kung correct or update. Kung correct po, Kino-confirm natin na correct siya. And then we send agad a schedule. Teleconsult schedule are as follows. Schedule 1, let's say it's Monday 1 to 4 p.m. Mm. Wednesday 1 to 4 p.m. Friday 1 to 4 p.m. And then we ask them these questions. Please provide the following information. Very basic lang. Full name of patient, birthday, email address, reason for consult, and preferred date and time. Kakapin niya lang po ito. Ipipaste niya with preferred answers. Tapos great. Tapos po. Please confirm if we got it right. Tatanungin lang po siya dito, lahat ng mga sinagot niya dito, kung tama po ito. As soon as mag-say siya ng yes, our secretary will reach out to you. Consultation is only 1,500 pesos. Sa step po na ito, lahat ng, kung sino man ang makaabot sa flow po na ito, pupunta siya ngayon sa isang spreadsheet. Si spreadsheet na yon, yun lang ang titingnan ng Secretary po. Pwede rin naman si secretary, halimbawa uh, yung email, we can also add her email para i-check niya yung email at saka si doctor din, nakikita niya rin kung sino. So parang one-to-one, mirror lagi yung makikita ng doctor at saka mirror din makikita ng secretary. Para yung transparency natin na ilan ba talaga ang naging teleconsult patients ko. I mean, aminin natin, ang dami nating doctors na hindi na sila nakakapagbilang kung ilan ang naging pasyent nila. Kasi pagod na pagod na talaga. Ay, uh, merong record, right? Ito, merong record na automated na yung record. Yan. So, full transparency. Naiiwasan pa po yung uh, matempt, yung, yung staff natin. Tapos, uh, sa staff naman po natin, kampante po siya na kung ano yung nakafile sa record niya, yun din ang nakafile sa record na to. Yun. So, hindi magkakaroon ng gray area na tama ba yung bilang natin for the patient scene for this week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, ano, ang maganda din kasi dito, it acts as a filter, di ba? The chatbot. Kasi meron din naman kasi talaga mga bogus, ano eh. <laughs> mga yes. bogus, mapasok lang and then magtatanong-tanong, tapos hindi naman pala. Oh. Ah, ganun, di ba? Di ba, alibawa, alas dos ng umaga. O sabihin na lang natin, 11 ng gabi. I mean, Alibawa, ano ka, uh, let's say, OB ka, di ba? Tapos, alam mo na meron kang patient ah, meron kang patient na posibleng mga anak ng 5 a.m. So, the one thing na gusto mong gawin is magpahinga, di ba? Eh, biglang may tanong ng tanong, Doktora, may consult, uh, magkano consult mo? Uh, Doktora, tumatanggap ka po ba ng HMO? 
Doktora, ang dami mong tanong. Tapos, mami, pagdating mo ngayon sa panganganak, yung isi-CS mo ng alas 5 ng umaga, puyat na puyat ka. ba? Diba? I mean, it's it might sound so little, pero yung effect na malaki. Di ba? Yun po siya. Yes, tama, tama. Tsaka, tsaka ang napapansin ko kasi yung, yung ibang um, doctors din, um, ang maganda rin dito is privacy. Kasi yung ibang doctors, they don't want to really give their okay. numbers, di ba? Yes. But, kunwari, or kunwari, may, or, it, um, they can even, uh, they can give the page. And that, that page actually answers kasi iba problema naman bibigay mo yung page magme-message yung patient hindi walang sumasagot kasi diba busy si doc yes so, oh yan imagine lang na nakakat down yung time na yon tapos yung yung privacy mo bilang a private individual is separate na from you being yes a... totoo diba you still, still need to have time for yourself and your family and yes. also ang isa pang nakita ko advantage dito ni Liha as a totoo lang, maraming mga patients kasi na um, mga friends and family na gusto talagang makalibre. Yan, ide-direct message si Doc. Okay lang naman yan sa totoo lang, pero minsan may mga doktor talaga na sobrang OA na. na may script sampu, ako dyan. Sampung beses na to. <laughs> Doktora Pinky, <laughs> hindi gusto nang... mo marinig yung script ko. Okay, nga. Anong Tinuro ko to sa isang consultant. Uh, kasi ang, ang dami niyang NC. Ang dami niyang NC. Nahihiya oh, siyang sorry. maningil. Uh-uh. Diba? Nahihiya siyang maningil. Ang dami din niyang, niyang patients na PN. Eh, mga pag-prito natin. Sabi nga nung isang doktor na kaibigan ko, ano pa lang siya, three years pa lang yung practice niya. Alam mo kung ipepera ko yung PN ko? Sabi ko, ano po yung PN? Promissory notes? Sabi niya. Ay, million-million ang pera ko. Sabi niya ganon. Sabi ko, okay. Sige. Uh, since ikaw, doktor, mahilig ka magsulat. Ako, mahilig din ako magsulat. Sabi ko, try mo tong script na to. So, ang script ko was na, di ba may secretary ka? Sabi niya, oo, meron. May bookkeeper ka, may accountant ka. Sabi niya, oo, meron. Okay, ganito. Lahat ng mga PN mo, promissory notes mo, sabihin mo is, mag-create, kumuha, bumalik ka ng bagong SIM, secretary mo magte-text in behalf of you, pero hindi mo sasabihin. So, ang sasabihin ni secretary is, hi, ako po si Grace from Dr. Uh, Intal's Clinic. Na utusan po ako ng accountant po ni Dr. na i-clear po yung record po with you. So hindi si Dr. ang naniningil. Si accountant ang naniningil. So si Dr. clear conscience, wala siyang winoworry na hala, tipong ganon. Hindi po alam ni Dr. ito na sinisingil po namin kayo kasi nahihiya po talaga siya. Pero kailangan po talaga gawin po ng accountant namin to para maayos po namin yung books niya. Kasi kawawa naman po si doktor. Kung nagbayad si patient, edi eh okay. Kung hindi, Ang mga bayad. patients pala, na-realize <laughs> namin, doktor. Yes, so na-realize namin, is gusto pala nilang magbayad. Ah, okay. Kaso, kulang pa yung pera nila. So, ang nangyari is, halimbawa, ang um, PF ng doktor is, let's say, 50,000. Hindi niya mabubuo yung 50,000 niya. 20,000 lang yung pera niya. Gusto niyang ibigay yung 20,000 niya, pero nahihiya nga siya for the time na nangyayari na hindi niya mabuo yung 20,000 niya, kahit hindi niya maibigay. Hmm. Si doktor naman pala all along is, kahit 20,000 na yung bayo sa akin, okay na ako, masayang ah. masayang ako. Oh. Yes. Ang problema, hindi nag-uusap yung dalawang parties. Yes. So kasi hindi na pa-follow up si Doc. Oh, kasi nahihiya siya maningil, di ba? Parang uh, uh, kung talagang gusto niya magbayad, pupunta, pupunta siya sa akin. Di ba? Yan ang thinking. So, yung patient naman, naman, gusto magbayad, pero hindi buo. Pwede na rin. <laughs> yan, hindi ato rin siya. Diba? So when we created that script, di ba? When we created that script, ang dami niyang naging pera from the PNs. Wow, galing. So, another script. Okay, another script. Oh, yan, 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 yan. To those of you who are you. listening, t- ano, wala namang, there's nothing wrong about asking for that fee. Kung hindi talaga makabayad, wala na tayong magagawa doon. Yes. At saka, na-realize talaga natin na natanggal mo yung guilt ng pasyente kasi kahit pa paano nakabayad siya. Uh-oh. Hindi na siya umiiwas sa Sunday mass, di ba? <laughs> na makasalubo <laughs> siya. Oo. Kasi, clear conscience niya kahit pa paano nakapagbayad ako. Tapos narinig niya from the doctor na, uy, salamat, sinabi sa akin ni secretary yung binigay mo, maraming salamat. Di ba, di ba, ganun? 
Ah, Both happy. Ah. Diba? Ito, isa sa pang script. Sa mga NC, yung laging hingi ng hingi ng NC. Pag ganun po, ang nangyayari is sasabihin, mabawa, if it's, let's say na normal lang tayo na situation. Pagdating doon sa clinic, pumapasok yung pasyente, diba? normally, in-expect na libre na siya. Diba? Yung mga sanay na mag-NC. Sanay na makatanggap ng NC. Paglabas sa paglabas niya, kasubuhan siya ng secretary, tapos sasabihin lang ng secretary is, uh, bawa, ang pangalan is, uh, Sir Neil, Sir Neil, NC na po daw kayo yung lahat ng mga previews. Pero syempre, tahimik lang sinasabi, di ba? Tahimik lang. Hindi mo naman pinaparinig yung lahat ng mga patients na nasa waiting room, nasa waiting area, di ba? NC na daw po yung lahat. Uh, pinapabanggit lang po nung accountant namin. Again, it's the accountant. <laughs> We put that other person na from now on daw po, pwede daw po ba yung PF po. Kahit ito po, special rate po niyo ito. So hindi man siya full rate, at least meron siya rin rate pa rin. Si patient still feels happy kasi special rate siya. ba? Diba? Hindi pa rin nagbukhang masama yung doktor, nagbukhang pera, kasi si accountant ang sinisisi natin na ninyo. Kawawang accountant, baka marinig kasi, tayo na accountant. Si accountant, sulitin na natin yung binabayad natin kay accountant. Hindi lang siya nag-aayos ng libro, taga-remit ng mga taxes. Taga-singil din. No? Oo. Gamitin na natin siya ang taga-singil. Diba? At magiging happy naman si accountant kasi the more yes, money that correct. the doctor make, tuloy-tuloy pa rin naman siyang i-retain. Diba? So full circle siya. Yun. So may may result na kayo on that naman? Oo. oo, oo. Ano nangyari? Yung mga, ano, yung, yung mga pasyente. Actually, yung mga pasyente palang hingi ng hingi ng NC. Ang nagiging problema nila is hindi na nila alam kung ano yung re-regalo nila sa doctor na yung pagpasko. Si doctor naman tuwing Pasko, sawang-sawa na siya sa cake, sa wine. Sawang-sawa na siya. Kasi pinapamigay niya na nga lang yung cake at saka wine. I mean, I, I know you know this naman, di ba? So ngayon, hindi na obligado si pasyente ng NC na magbigay ng kung anong gift, di ba? Pero happy pa rin siya to pay kasi meron siyang special rate. Yes, yan. Thank you so much, Neil. Actually, Mar... Messenger marketing yung pinag-usapan natin dito pero <laughs> dami na namin natutunan sa iyo so so to all of you who are watching baka may tanong pa kayo about chatbot, messenger marketing, <laughs> 'di ba? So leave yeah. na natin yung time ni Neil pero kung wala na talaga ng katanungan. Opo. Okay. Oh. Meron pa ba wala na? So kung again, wala, oh wrap up na lang natin Neil. What does this messenger Um, for those of you, for those people na late dumating, ano ba tala, ano ba itong messenger marketing? How does this actually grow the practice of a doctor? And how much does it cost? So, summarize na lang natin before we end. Sige. Uh, kaso marireward ko siya. If you As- are a starting doctor, normally what we would think is, okay, kukuha ko ng slot sa hospital na to, sa isa pang hospital na to, sa isa pang hospital to. Ito yung clinic schedules ko. Imagine lang, in those particular areas, the number of patients that we could actually see would siguro be 10,000 people. Potential. Yun yung potential nung area po na yun. Diba? But now with the advent of social media, with online marketing nga po, you can now see your patients even abroad. Okay? Kung psychiatrist ka, you can now see uh, patients who are going through depression, anxiety, uh, kung, kung psychosis, kung ano man yan. Diba? And more patients are now really open to seeking help. Diba po? The only problem lang talaga, talaga ngayon is that they don't know where to look for these doctors kasi nga, hindi naman nila physically pwedeng puntahan. So they go online. So I think ngayon, doctors have a responsibility to be online to help more of their patients. So ano magagawa ng mga chatbots na to? Siya yung sasagot po lahat ng mga uh, uh, frequently asked questions mo. Diba po? Kahit pa anong oras yan, kahit pa madaling araw yan, hindi siya nilalagnat, hindi siya inuubo, hindi siya sisiponin, hindi rin niya nagtatampo, hindi niya nag-increase ang sweldo. Hindi nag hindi, hindi nag-leave. <laughs> hindi siya, kung ano man, kung wala siyang dahilan, hindi siya mangungupit. Okay. So, <laughs> siya yung sasagot ng mga questions po para sa'yo. Para, ang gagawin mo na lang is what you uh, trained yourself for. To see patients and help yeah. them with their health. So, yun. Yes, yun. So, yan. Thank you so much, Neil. Any last message? So, uh, i-promote mo na naman sarili mo sa ka ba nila makikita? Kasi para yeah. they can reach for you kung kailangan ka nila. 
on 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 this kind of thing like chatbot and messenger lalo lalo na ang mga doctor siya wala konting konting konti pa lang ang, ta- ang doctors na gumagawa nito so dapat mauna ka na usually oh. ganun naman sa social media paunahan niya ni eh. sino mauna right yes you know? so um, um tell ano us where you can yan ang advice ko po is dito is <clears throat> take advantage of where we are now The same way that I did when 2017, bagong-bago ang chatbots, take advantage of this right now and be ahead of the game. Uh, if you'd like to reach me personally, you can reach me at Neil, N-I-E-L, at botbot, B-O-T-T, B-O-T-T dot C-O. Ngayon, I also added my link po dito para you can experience the chatbot para po dito sa, um, um, para may experience nyo. So I added the link po para may experience nyo dito sa Facebook Live po na ito. Yan. Yun okay. lang po. So, for those of you, kung paano, um, you just want to know paano ba ang, paano ba yung chatbot nag-work, just press on the link na linagay ni Neil. So, para yes. lang makita nyo kung paano siya nag-work. And, um, yun for now. So, dahil wala tayong questions, <clears throat> masyado silang amazed siguro sa yun, Neil. <laughs> Actually, madami <laughs> mga doktor. Hindi naman talaga sila mahilig mag-comment sa mga Facebook lives, pero mahilig sila magtanong in private. So, open naman po tayo na matanong. Yes, open kami sir question. Ibabato ko kayo kay Neil pag tanong yes. yung chatbot. <laughs> opo, opo, opo. <laughs> Ayan, si, si chatbot ni Neil ang sasagot sa Hindi naman siguro. No? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi naman po. So, hi ko lang po si Dr. Michelle. Uh, si Dr. Michelle at Uh, hindi ko po alam. At saka si Dr. Kennard Felix. Yan. Yan po. Yes, hello. Yeah. Oy, to all those who are watching, thank you, Dr. Yeah, Belandres, Dr. Ann, ayan, okay. Dr. Capistrano, ang dami. So anyway, so for those of you na makikita yung recording na lang nito sa Facebook, um, you can still reach out for, for us. So Neil is there already. Kaka... Um, Ayun. So, thank you so much. So, I hope you have a good night tonight. Matulog muna kayo. And I hope nakatulong kami in any way. So, that pa in sana pa yung... <laughs> pati yung PN, yung mga promissory notes nila, maging pera Ayun, na yung no, PN diba? nila, di ba? <laughs> Yan. Ang dami natin natutunan on PN, promissory note, paano ba oh. makakasingil? Di ba? Mm-hmm. And yes. paano makakasingil sa NC? Yan. <laughs> And po. we also found out na gusto talaga pala ng mga patients magbayad. Ang problema lang, walang naniningil. Yes. <laughs> Totoo Ooh. yan, walang naniningil. Yes. So, huwag kayong magningil, yung sekretarya. Ayan. I, kung hindi nyo naabutan yung part na yun, just hanapin nyo na lang dito. Or panoorin nyo. Medyo dulo po. Yan. Panoorin na lang po. Panoorin na lang. <laughs> Yeah. Ano rin po all, it's really gold. Okay, so thank you so much, Neil. Um, and thank you to our audience who are still alive right now. Alam ko, um, mas maraming makakanood nito bukas, pagkagising nila, and eventually every day. <laughs> yes, yes. Po, thank yes. you. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye, thank you. Bye.